there are like so many planets and like habitable planets and we can't just be the only living thing out of that many planets that's it i actually started to believe that aliens exist so it's hard to think they don't because if every sun which is a star has planet like ours right and then there are a few planets in the goldilocks zone goldilocks zone means they're not too hot not too cold then you should have life, right? And and what you said is true. There's so many planets, but it's more. There's so many stars. Right? If every star has ten ten planets, but we have infinite stars, then we should also have infinite planets that somehow do have like an Earth-like, you know, setting. But we don't know. They're so far away that maybe they can't communicate with us. Um. And maybe there's a cycle, right? That before we even, right? The only person, guys, that's trying to think of these things is Elon Musk. He thinks that the sun is going to cook Earth very soon. And once it does, humans are just going to go extinct. So he wants to, right now, find a way to leave the solar system, right? And the first step is Mars. Um, and he has a point. Right, the window in which we can do it is only like very small, because imagine we have World War Three, and everyone throws a nuke on everyone. Right, we're gonna go back to the Stone Age, so it's gonna take a while before we can rebuild and build spaceships without anyone killing us to try to get out of our universe. Because it is true, Earth will become that like Venus, um, not in our generation, but you know, at some point. So it begs to wonder, right? Maybe there are aliens and maybe aliens are already here. We just can't see them. There are many things we can't see, right? I can't see bacteria. I can't see like viruses, right? We can't see anything that's cold or hot. They're just, you can't tell. So what if aliens are here already? What if they, what if aliens, what are aliens to aliens? Guys, have you have you guys thought about this? Kira, check this out. What if what if what if ideas are aliens? Because anything that is actually done in, on Earth ever started with an idea that somebody had, right? You might be in your room one day and be like, "Ah, oh, I want to build something," and then you actually take your body and go build it. So, what if the idea is actually the alien, right? Trying to like brainwash you into doing certain things or taking the actions that you take who knows i right? tried this dream yesterday like it was the only dream in like three days i had and it was about aliens they sent <laughs> like, a time machine and then i don't know if it's called time machine but like uh they have this machine that lets people travel to this place in our universe that aliens live in. And then, like, I had this journey with aliens. Isn't that a story? There's a, there's a book called The Time Machine written by H.G. Wells, the guy that wrote World of Wars. Um, maybe it's similar to that story maybe you dreamed about that story but uh, guys we don't know okay also, and, and we want to know there's also a movie like about this uh yeah that you had that dream what do humans do to people who are less intelligent than them if you think about it what do humans do to all other humans and all animals on earth they torture them? Not really torture, but okay. don't you think we control? We don't, don't you think we control people who are less intelligent than us? Right? And then we control the animals too. So we basically take them over. Right? Humans have this weird nature of taking things over. That's why we have all these colonialists before in history going to find new land and taking over it. That's why we want to take over Mars, in a way. 
Right? So if you think about that, and that's true to everything in the universe, if things are smart and they take over things that are not smart, then we better not find aliens because most likely we're not as smart as aliens. And if they see us, they might just take us over right? and maybe destroy us or conquer Earth in a way that we don't want. Um, and there are a lot of movies written about this, right? Um, where aliens actually take over Earth. The best one, the best alien movie I've seen, if you guys ever want to watch it, is called The Arrival. Have you guys seen that one before or heard of it? It's called The Arrival. <clears throat> I definitely recommend watching this movie when you have time. Okay. It talks about the alien language and well, what they do. this really movie that you should just like watch the trailer for a little bit. It's called um Signs. Signs is it new? I know it's like really old, but it's really good. It's kind of scary, but it's like watch the trailer. It's so good. Let me see the uh, IMDb. I don't like scary movies, but. Alien movies, I'm okay with. Alien. Oh, Lin Yi Shan. This is like a scary movie. It's not a sci horror film. Alright, so this is the this is the one Goku recommends. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen this. So these were uh, what do you you know what these are called? These are called the alien crops. The alien croppings, right? So farmers would wake up and their whole field would be carved out in like weird language, uh, like alien language. Um, and and the, the, the carving is like so big that it's almost impossible for a human to do it in one night. That's why they think it's like aliens coming down doing the uh, printing. But they've also debunked this. A lot of people actually like go prank people with they'll go and shake their crops at night while they're sleeping and so when you wake up there's like a giant circle and it's proven to not be a trailer? i haven't watched it yet but i hope it's really cool yeah so these are cool because chinese the... film called santi yeah santi is a really good chinese uh sci-fi it... It's really Indian. Yeah, have you seen it? I haven't seen it, but I've read a part of it, like just a teeny part. Pretty long. It's a whole story. Really, the whole really... story is across three books, I think. Yeah, yeah. I I think you can watch like uh, YouTube videos. Guys, look at this. I'm getting goosebumps just looking at them. Like, it's kind of like me, Ji Hong Ji Zhen, right? The, the intense phobia I, I told you guys about. But, huh? but, 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 stuff like this. Like, imagine you just wake up one day and then your, 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 your crop turns into this. How can you not believe some alien came down? How can you not believe? Wait, wait, go down to that one of like an actual picture of alien. Like which one? Oh, oh, I'm getting some, I'm getting goosebumps from this. Just because I don't like circles and like bumpy stuff, right? But in terms of the pattern, it's really cool. Crop circles from the air. Guys, this is in the Guardian. This means like people woke up to this. This is real. So can you really say that aliens have not been here? And these are just on crops, by the way. There are places on Google Earth where you can see like entire lands from GPS having these circles, weird circles um, in, in, in different places. <laughs> so this one must be fake, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> you guys see this one? So you can fake these, all right? What they do is they take these little like long sticks and they just keep pressing down on the fields and you can like make a pivot point so you can make a big circle. But this one is too obvious. Aliens would not come down and draw their own faces like this, right? There's probably somebody messing with people. 
but okay. Wait, can we watch the trailer for the signed movie? I haven't watched it. I want to see it. Is it that good? Yeah, I want to see it. I will watch a little bit. Since it's on Aliens, we'll watch a little bit. Have okay. you watched it? No. First time hearing about this. Trailer number one. It's kind of scary, though. Yeah, if it's scary, I'll turn it off. I don't Check like scary. That. Yeah, I think no. I so so. If this is Mel Gibson, then I've seen it. It looks like Mel Gibson. Yeah, it is Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson is a very famous actor. Uh, it's kind of slow though. Okay, here it is. Probably wakes up to the props. Oh my god. You guys see that? What? That's how small they are, like a little dot. So how do you make these? Even if you're a human, how do you make them? But how do they make them for the movies? <laughs> Tin foil hat. This scene where like a little girl comes and she says, "I'm scared. There's some monster standing in our corridor." The second sign you can't ignore. Oh man, there's more. So it has to be like alien spaceships, like landing on your field, in order to kind of create those. Stay in the shadows. It's called program to make sure things are clear. For the rest of them. Oh no. Why do they have to have a little girl at night staring at you? Just make it an alien movie. You know, once you go into the Little girl staring at you, it becomes like a horror film. No, like but it's that. just like, she's gonna say, no, I'm scared. It's like some weird gray thing standing outside. <laughs> oh. Alright, Kira, since you didn't do your thing, read Gogo's thing out loud for him. And let's see if it's a good persuasive essay on do aliens exist. Do I keep on reading or do I start from the start? I we haven't started, so yeah, start from the very beginning. Wait, I thought What's... you read some some sentence in the middle. No, I didn't. Oh, so you were just explaining? Yeah, I was just having a discussion on aliens. I I didn't read any of his uh thing, and I hope. And I need you to read Gogos because I, I I I need to see if there's another Doctor Kangaroo or Doctor or something that will come up that he's trying to tell me he came up with. <laughs> Kira is the Gogo Buster, Gogo Story Buster. <laughs> my my story has a grass called Yolk. Grass called Yolk. Oh, that's creative. Give your anything a name. I'm, I'm okay with. Don't just, don't copy it from a fairy tale, a children's fairy tale. And uh, I have, and I have lemongrass. Okay, well, make sure you send it to me next time before class so we can share it together. All right, let's go. Read Gaga's out loud. 
Aliens are dissipated as gray creatures <laughs> with gray skin that have a huge head with dark black eyes and spindly limbs. They're known for having super advanced technology and to come down to Earth and abducted humans in UFOs. Some people think that they are just some fictional creature in cartoons, but they actually do exist. So we have so we have enough information and recorded sightings to know if know they exist. There have there have already been living organisms found in our solar system, and the government has already spent so much money money on alien research that it would not be right for them to be wasting money like that. Oh, I like your third point, even though it's kind of wordy, right? But I get your point, which is why would we be spending so much money if they don't exist, if they didn't exist? That means they know something we don't know. Right, so through government spending, there's like a hint. But I don't think number two is true. Has there been living organisms found in our solar system? Yeah, yeah, yes. Switch it up, switch it up. I think they did say they found something, but in the they... clouds of Jupiter, in the clouds of Jupiter, yes. Uh, I think that's a theory. We don't switch have... it up. They actually, they found like some poisonous gas in Jupiter, and they say bring it back to Earth. It's always related to like um. Human, yeah, but there used to be living organisms, but right now there isn't. We, we don't know. We don't have proof. All right, let's just do a quick Google check. Are there other living organisms in our universe, in our solar system? Amongst stunning variety of worlds in our solar system, only Earth is known to host life, okay? And this is from NASA. So answer is no. That's what they're looking for, okay? Like like, like, the, like underneath Mars, they're trying to find like even one cell, anything that's moving, right? One bacteria, but they haven't found it. So they're speculating that there could be a Jupiter, but we don't even have a robot on Jupiter. How do you know? They can't make a crazy statement like this okay you can't make a crazy statement like this 